Hello and welcome to NSERV. Train your brain to make more money. Yes, let's find out what the rich do to make a lot of money. Have you ever wondered how someone becomes a millionaire, or do you still question how they manage to earn money every day with minimal effort? In this video, you will discover the strategies used by major millionaires to reach their first millions and be ready to pave your way to wealth. Have you ever wondered how someone becomes a millionaire, or do you still question how they manage to earn money every day with minimal effort? In this video, you will discover the strategies used by major millionaires to reach their first millions and be ready to pave your way to wealth. Imagine if we asked several people if they would like to have a million dollars in their account, most would probably say yes. But Morgan Russell's book, Financial Psychology, makes sense by explaining that People want to be millionaires wanting to manage because they imagine spending a million dollars visualizing possibilities and not necessarily a million. After all, spending a million is the opposite of having a million. Before learning to manage money, it's important to earn it, all right? How many different income sources do you have? If you have no income or only one diversifying is crucial, a bit unstable, but standing. The secret is to have more income sources to not rely on just one. The more sources, the better. Stick around, and I will show you how to make lots of money just simply uploading some of your good photos that you have taken yourself. So you've understood the first point of this video, right? To start leveraging your financial life, you need multiple income sources. If you want to know the secret to having multiple income sources, it's important to stay until the end of the video. Pause this video for a second and take the time to leave a comment on the page like this. The secret is to have multiple income sources, okay? Comment and I'll know you're dedicated, so I'll give a heart to your comment. Now that you have commented, let's continue. Initially, with no money to invest or a project in mind, we don't have many options. We need to exchange time for money. Working for someone else or as a freelancer, in short, it's working to earn money doing any service that requires effort, whether mental or physical. This is called active income. However, if facing overdue debts, it's crucial to start organizing to pay them off. As these financial commitments make it difficult to build a solid economic life, this is mainly due to the rapid increase in interest, making each payment progressively more challenging. If these debts are part of your financial situation, it's urgent to regularize them. If you're dealing with debts from various entities, but don't have the resources to pay them all at once, the strategy is to start with the one with the highest charges. Additionally, it's important to contact the data companies and try to negotiate the debts as some offer discounts that can help alleviate financial pressure. It's also advisable to avoid incurring new unnecessary debts. This not only preserves financial stability, but also allows more efficient management of available resources. By avoiding unnecessary financial commitments, it becomes easier to direct resources to investments and decide how to allocate money wisely and strategically. When we have a stable income from work, we can seek passive income, increasing earnings through investments, businesses, or projects. Passive income is obtained without direct effort, without actively working, but it's not simple. All passive income comes from work done at some point in life. If you work from Monday to Friday and receive a salary or a wage, you're earning active income. If in addition to that you have another income source from investments, that's passive income for which you don't need to work daily. But to have money to invest and build that passive income, it was necessary to work at some previous point in life. Not always needing to invest money to generate passive income on those passive income investments. Each person has their investor profile that plays a crucial role in the financial scenario. Functioning as a compass that guides investment choices and strategies, this analysis not only reveals the level of risk tolerance, but also highlights individual preferences regarding different investment vehicles available in the market. Based on this deeper understanding, it's possible to make more informed decisions aligned with each investor's specific financial goals. When exploring investor profile classifications, we encounter three distinct categories that offer a diverse range of approaches. The conservative investor, for example, places security at the top of their priorities, even if it implies potentially limited returns. 
This approach provides a sense of stability prioritizing capital preservation over more significant gains, characterizing itself as a suitable strategy for those seeking to minimize risks. However, the profiles don't stop there, the moderate investor. Although sharing concerns about security is willing to incorporate an element of calculated risk into their investment portfolio. This balanced approach aims to optimize return potential, allowing controlled exposure to more volatile investments in pursuit of more substantial yields. This flexibility offers a dynamic response to constantly evolving market conditions. Finally, the aggressive investor stands out for the bold pursuit of higher returns. To achieve this goal, this investor profile is unafraid to expose themselves to more significant risks. Provided those risks are calculated and manageable, this bold mindset drives the exploration of more aggressive investment opportunities. Incorporating strategies that can generate significant returns or be it, accompanied by higher volatility. In summary, understanding and aligning with the investor. Profile not only provide clear direction in financial decision making, but also reflects each individual's unique financial personality. By taking these details into account, investors can create stronger and more flexible portfolios capable of performing well in various economic and market situations. Before concluding, it's important to understand that passive income has two main categories, fixed income and variable income. Fixed income includes investments with clear payment rules defined. When you invest, this gives the investor certainty about the term and how the investment will yield even before investing. Fixed income is attractive for those seeking stable returns and financial security. There are several options within this type of investment. On the other hand, variable income is linked to investments where the return cannot be predicted at the time of investment. The profitability of these investments varies according to market expectations, potentially resulting in significant gains or losses. The more volatile nature of variable income makes it a choice for those willing to take more risks in exchange for the possibility of higher gains. Regarding risk, variable income has a higher potential return compared to fixed income. Thus, those willing to deal with more uncertainty can have more robust gains. Variable income is a strategic option for those looking to balance the appetite for risk with the pursuit of substantial gains in investments. You've just understood what active income and passive income are. Now, as you start earning money, whether actively working or passively through investments, it's important to consider how to use this money. Managing the money you earn can be more important than obtaining it itself because money represents time. Any financial gain, whether active or passive, required that you sacrificed your time at some point in your life to earn that money. For instance, you might have sacrificed hours of sleep to work early, given up social moments to study, or skipped watching TV shows to dedicate yourself to extra work on weekends. It's important to note that initially, to earn money, you need to exchange your time whether you're self-employed, employed Oregon starting a business. After reaping the fruit of your labor, spending it on unnecessary things actually means wasting time. To improve your financial situation, it's crucial to abandon the short-term perspective and think long-term. This applies to different phases of life. If we constantly indulge in immediate gratifications like spending the entire salary or wage on the weekends, we end up living dissatisfied from Monday to Friday, waiting for the weekend, experiencing fleeting joy and consuming everything earned during the week, repeating this cycle weekly. Moreover, many people use credit improperly, surpassing monthly limits and accumulating debts for the next month, which represents an even greater financial setback. Therefore, it's suggested not to spend the entire salary in a month and adopt a long-term approach. In other words, avoid spending just for immediate pleasure and channel your resources into investments that will generate significant returns in the future. If we have income sources, we'll have resources to utilize, however, to handle money well, it's important to increase the capacity to earn and build an emergency fund. Understanding this basic concept can change many aspects of your financial situation significantly. It's not only important to think as a consumer, but also as a producer. This might seem odd, right? But the main idea is that most times when we receive money, the first thing we do is spend it buying things or services. 
Rarely do we think about using that money to invest in ourselves, whether it's learning something new, seeking improvements at work, or investing in personal projects. These are just a few examples, and you can adapt them to your own situation. The key point is not to use money only for expenses, but as a means to drive your personal and financial growth. The crucial difference lies in adopting a producer mentality. When receiving $1,000, a producer thinks about how to get the maximum return from that money, whereas a consumer with the same amount of money is already thinking about how to spend it. Hence, the main goal is apart from having stable income sources constantly seeking ways to increase capacity to earn whether by investing money or dedicating time. Such as studying for a new business project or exam, this will not only allow you to earn more but also save more to invest in the future. Another important point is that you don't need to count every penny to save what's essential is making conscious choices. Of course, you can enjoy weekends, for example, but evaluate the current situation and see if it would be more advantageous to use those resources for something that will bring more significant returns in the future. Reflecting on these decisions when spending money is always a healthy practice. Of course, we need to balance things and not give up everything. When you start earning money, think about setting aside a portion to begin investing in your emergency fund. This will be important for financial stability and avoiding serious financial problems in the future. Congratulations for watching the video until now and using your time to learn strategies to expand your capital. If you understand this content and believe you'll be able to make your money grow right, I will expand my capital here in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Enabling notifications for InServe so you don't miss the next fundamental tips for your financial growth. I can make another informative, motivational, easy to follow and understand video if you would like. Please comment in the comments section, yes. Please make another video. I'm sharing research knowledge with you, remember? Anything is hard until you know how, don't forget that. Say it again for you. Anything is hard until you know how. I can make it easy if you follow my videos. Now stay until the end of this video so that you don't waste the time that you have invested until now. I will share some wealthy secrets with you at the end of this video so you can see and prove to yourself how easily it is to make lots of money online. Your life is like an hourglass, with the sand constantly trickling from the top to the bottom, due to gravity, of course. Let's look at it like this. The sand in the top section is your future. The small grains of sand passing through the middle is now, the present, and what has fallen to the bottom is the past. Successful wealthy people believe that there is always plenty of sand in the top tank, so your future is plentiful, and what happened in the past, happened in the past, thinking like this, will always keep you young and healthy in mind and body. You can't change that, but what you can change is your future. Believe that there is plenty of sand left in your hourglass, have goals, have plans to achieve in the future. Don't worry about what has been, as you can start today and write a new chapter in your life with a positive attitude and a little know-how from these videos that I have been working very hard on for you people out there. If you do well, then I have fulfilled my goal. Karma is alive and well in this world today, and when you help someone and don't expect anything in return, then it will come back. Especially if you do well. You will remember, wow, I learned from NSERV YouTube channel, and now I am doing well. I'm sure I will hear from you in the future if you subscribe and keep watching my videos as I make them for you to guide you to better wealth. Okay, moving on. It is very important to start thinking seriously about retirement, especially if you are in a debt-free financial situation, have various income sources and a solid emergency fund. Few people manage to reach this financial level but it's crucial to assess for how long you could sustain yourself only with the resources you currently have if you decided to stop working immediately. The commonly discussed measure of wealth frequently addressed in personal finance books is related to net worth calculated by subtracting debts from the total available money. If someone depends only on employment income and maintains a monthly living standard of $3,000 having a reserve of $9,000 would provide a three-month margin to subsist while seeking another income source. On the other hand, 
someone who has a million dollars invested, generating a 1% monthly return and maintains a living standard of $10,000, has achieved the much desired financial independence. In this case, it wouldn't be necessary to work as the money would be continually generating income. However, it's important to highlight that this independence is conditioned by the established standard of living. Withdrawing more money from the investment for higher expenses would result in financial decline. It's essential to understand that money should not only be seen as a means of consumption, but also as an investment tool. Investing means putting money to work for you. The return generated along with compound interest creates an exponential progression of earnings over time. Forming a snowball of investments, however, this presumes that earnings are reinvested, avoiding unnecessary spending. Moreover, the focus shouldn't be on displaying wealth through material possessions, but on self-qualification, seeking substantial monthly income and allocating part of that money for investments. Building a reserve is the first step in studying investment strategies aimed at financial independence, such as stocks and real estate funds. Financial education is crucial because investing means learning to make money work to generate passive income. Finally, the importance of the 90-day rule is highlighted. Regularly, every 90 days, it's advisable to evaluate the assets recording everything in account, including emergency reserves and investments and subtracting existing debts. This exercise allows visualizing progress over time and more importantly, recognizing where you started from initially. Maintaining consistency, increasing income sources, maintaining the capacity to earn and monthly investing is essential for the continuous growth of assets. For me to know that you're a persistent person, please comment like this. I stayed until the end. Now how about expanding your knowledge even further? This is already the fifth video we have recorded about wealth. Video one should be appearing on your screen soon. Click on it and please watch it next. A big hug and success for you always. Now you have waited until the end and been a very good student. I will share a secret with you. I have posted some links in this video's description and also in my pinned comment on this page. It is links to show you how easy it can be to make money online while you are sleeping and just going about your normal life. One is so easy to make money from as the business wants your photos. Yes, photos that you take and have on your computer or phone can be uploaded to this website and they will pay you money when people use your photos. It's really that easy. The platter that I am handing to you for sticking around is now on your lap. So this is simple. Just upload a few photos and watch the payments come in. It's that easy. Please don't forget to comment if you would like this channel and serve to keep making videos for you to follow and learn. Subscribe so you will get notified as I release these educational videos for food for thought that I am teaching. There is also a link on the page for another way to try and earn extra income. Make YouTube videos with AI in minutes and promote products on your channel. Until next time, thank you for watching. Your time has been spent wisely here following these video series. Well done.